I'm a rock star, smash my guitar. I come through on that bigger jet, make niggas stare at my hands, even though I am not my man. Diamonds on my ring and on my arm, Twitch me flex on y'all. Hey you guys, long time no see. Welcome back to the channel. It's your Terry Brianne. If you don't know, now you know and now we're best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. Go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on social media. All that good stuff, okay? What else have we say? Turn your push notifications on. Girl, it's been a minute since I uploaded a video. I know. But I'm here today. I look crazy right now. Just finished a long day of work. So we are about to get this hair together before I go out on the town, honey. So keep on watching, okay? Because today's video is sponsored and we have a nice package. I'm so excited to get into it. So let's go. Thank you so much to you nice for sponsoring today's video. Look at this packaging. Get into it, girl. This is nice. I ain't never had a unique package like this, okay? I like the color, the velvet, and ooh. Oh my God, it's like literally packed to the top. Has so many goodies in here. Like what? Look at this. Girl, it's falling all out of the, look at that. There are so many goodies inside this box. We got some lashes, some makeup stuff. I think this is a brush. Ooh, I'm so excited to get into the nitty gritty. Here we have the wig. Oh my gosh, she's nice and long. All of the information for this hair will be in the description box below, so make sure that you check there to get all the links. They gave me a ton of hairbands because I am doing a hairband wig today, you guys, and y'all are gonna know exactly why. Oh my God, they gave me a rope. Is this a rope? <gasps> they gave me a rope, you guys. What? Change really quickly. Oh my god, this is nice. You nice this you. It don't smell like roaches or nothing. I am living for the road. Let me take these glasses off, y'all. These are my um my meeting glasses, child. But get into it. Nah, for real. If you get hair PR packages and your packages ain't looking like that, you you ain't really that girl. Pulling her out of the box to see how she feels, to see how she smells. Girl, sometimes, you know, Kappa needs to be sending you whatever, honey. The curl pattern is really nice. She's really tight. And I like fluffy curly hair, so I'm probably going to, like, put some product in it and brush it out. Like I said, it is a hairband wig. So this, um, you know, this tutorial going to be real easy. So this is where you're going to go about real easy. I did just experience a little bit of shedding. I am going to let y'all know exactly what I experienced. That's weird. It's like it fell right out. I don't know where from. But there's not a crazy smell. There's a smell. But there's not a crazy smell. Um, I love how it has. Oh, it has big combs as well. Look how long that comb is. Usually they're short like that. So it gives you four combs and an elastic band. So that's really, really good when it comes to headband wigs because you need to make sure that it's secure, honey, okay? So first things first, I'm going to slick my hair back because y'all see I have a part right here that I do not want to show. And I gotta take this big, uh, what's this called? This big scrunchie out. I have one of those protective scrunchies in your head, like the ones that's real soft that don't got a like hard metal piece in or anything like that. So I'm gonna pull my hair straight back, put a little tiny, not rubber band, but a tiny um band on it. And then we're gonna get into styling. I was listening to throwbacks before I started this video. So baby, that's what y'all about to listen to too. Respect you like a lover. Talk to her. Put your pretty little hand in mine. Oh, nah, nah. All right, you guys. So now that I have my hair pulled back, it do not have to be perfect, girl. You're about to put a wig on top of it. What I want to do now is take out a lot of baby hairs. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot because this is how we want to make this laceless wig. Is what I like to call them because they don't got no lace whatsoever. This is how we're gonna make it look a little more natural. So I'm pulling out 
as many baby hairs as I can. Some of these is not baby hairs. Some of these is grown hairs, child. But we're going to pull a lot out because that's how we're going to get the look that we want. So while I'm doing this, let me talk to you guys about why I really want to wear a laceless wig right now. And why Unites was so on point with sending me this unit. Because I've been going through stuff with my hair, y'all. I've been going through some things. So, quick rant. That last tutorial that I did, the braids, baby, pulled my hair out like crazy in the front. I was so upset. The crisscross rubber band braids is not for everyone's hair texture. And it's not, it's not for my hair texture that's in the front. My hair in the front is way softer, way finer um, than the hair in the back of my head. And I experienced so much shedding. I'm going to show y'all pictures. Like, I'm going to pop them up right here. The shedding in the shower when I washed my hair was crazy. You would think, like, that's like some postpartum shedding. Like, that amount of shedding from braids from a protective style, that's crazy. I was losing it in the shower you guys so the hair in the front it doesn't look like i lost a lot to you guys but to me my edges look very thin like not my edges but like the perimeter of my hair right here like my temples and stuff look so thin so this is just a perfect opportunity for me to put some oil in my hair and leave it alone okay so that's exactly what i'm about to do right now because i gotta protect the hair y'all I gotta protect what hair I have left, okay? Like what? So right now, put on some oil in these areas. It's looking a little skimp. And I'm gonna make sure to do this every single time I put this wig on. I've been putting oil in my hair every time I wake up and right before I go to sleep anyways because I need my hair to grow back. Like, it's not no rocky, okay? So now I'm about to spray this with some water, maybe some leave-in conditioner. Um, I want to whip the hair and then brush it out so we can get a bigger because right now it's not giving what it's supposed to give. <laughs> and hopefully that creates an opportunity for me to cut some shape into the hair. You know what I mean? I'm just going to spray this all over, take my brush and brush it out and then I'm going to add some, some type of product. As you can see the hair got bigger. It's nice and fluffy now. I love that. I love that. I absolutely love that. And this is without product. Just water and a little bit of brushing. I want to use something lightweight for the hair. So I'm going to use this leave-in conditioner from my Yale. It's the pomegranate and honey line. Just a little bit because honestly, I'm running out of it myself. Um, and I really just want to focus this on the front. So some of the curls can look really defined in the front. And you guys, I didn't know that the owners of my Yale hair care line were going to be on Selling Tampa. If you don't watch Selling Tampa or Selling Sunset on Netflix, get into it, girl, because that's my show, okay? That is my show, honey. And yeah, this is really all I'm going to do to the hair right now. Um, Fun fact, I do not have any wig caps. And that's one thing that you nice did not send me. But it's okay because honestly, I want the comb to go in my hair anyways. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Usually I would wash my unit before I put it in, but it's okay. So I think what I'm just going to do is put the clip in and then pull the hair, like put the hair back some. So make sure you put all the clips in your hair. So this wig ain't going nowhere. And then what I like to do once I have the wig on is I pull it forward a little bit. And then I flip this because I don't want the whole thing to come forward. That is not cute, child. <laughs> that is not cute. And then it's Velcro, so you just attach it in the back. And boom, there you have it. So another thing about laceless wigs that I don't like is you can see the beginning of the hair right here. It just looks weird to me it just looks a little different so what i like to do is get a thick headband i know they send a lot of these 
don't nobody like wearing these i suggest that you get a nice like gucci scarf or some type of cute designer scarf but baby i don't have any so what i'm gonna use is this like bedazzled thick headband right here because um it's thick enough to the point where you won't see none of this that's crazy back here going on see all you gotta do is pop this right on top and it goes right behind the ear and i just think it looks so cute i just think it looks so cute it automatically makes me look a little childish especially because i don't have on the makeup girl but it's okay and i'm just going to cut some layers into the hair so it can give my face a little more shape so i like just pull the hair down and then i go downwards with my scissors like this You take off as much hair as you desire. I think I've mastered how to layer hair, especially when it's curly. I like to pull from the top and then I pull from a section behind there so it like blends better. And just the key is to take a little bit off at a time and then keep bluffing it out so you know it's blending well. So like I said, I pull from right here, I pull from behind, and then I also pull from like the front. So it's just blended from all areas. You see how it looks more elevated? And this looks straight down. I love how like big this hair looks. I don't know, it's giving, it's giving for some reason for me, okay? So now I'm gonna go and do my edges. This is the Kiss Edge Fixer edge control i'm gonna put some on my edges and lay my baby hairs to the best of my ability so like i said i'm going for dramatic baby hairs so i'm gonna take a scarf and lay them down just so they don't go anywhere while i do my makeup and then hopefully by the time I take the scarf off, they won't go nowhere, you know? Just like that. So now I get to go do my face really quickly. Do y'all want to see a little bit of that too? Should I show you guys a little bit of that process as well? I know y'all miss me. I miss y'all. Can you get away? change into this cute little it gives like undergarment but it's really a dress i love how the hair came out it looks so big and natural and full and the hair is so soft i love it so i would give this hair overall an 8 out of 10 one it shed a lot i don't understand why it shed it so much because there was no lace i don't know make it make sense and two it had a smell it didn't stink but it didn't I wouldn't say it smelled good, <laughs> but it didn't stink, but it had a smell, feel me? Um, other than that, the packaging was on one, okay? The packaging itself gets a 10 out of 10. Um, and honestly, I'm excited to wear this over and over again. Like I said, it's going to be super easy for work. Like I said, it's going to give my hair time to chill and just soak up oils and moisture under the, what you call it, cap or whatever. So yeah, this is the final look i feel so cute so sexy so fire um and also this hair didn't take a lot to do like it just looks natural with little center products so if you enjoyed today's video make sure you like comment share, and subscribe um this video made me want to film 
uh, get lit, get ready with me, <laughs> like a lit playlist, get ready with me. So if y'all want to see one of those, comments down below. Um, check out my other videos and stay tuned for the next one. Bye, mamas. Diamonds on my ring and on my arms. Watch me flex on y'all.